Getting pictures into Excel is a huge pain. At least it used to be. Maybe you know how to insert one picture and get it into the right spot, but now you have to insert multiple pictures, resize them, line them up with the rows, make sure they don't move around, and now you're thinking, this is going to take forever. Keep watching to learn the four best ways to insert pictures into Excel. And I'll be pulling back the curtain on expert ways to save time and automate the process when you have multiple pictures. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets they can be proud of. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. If you have a spreadsheet that could use a little help, check out the description for a link to my free training, The Spreadsheet Tune-Up. In five short videos, I'll show you the first steps that can help you to optimize any spreadsheet. Let's start with a basic way to accomplish inserting an image into Excel. The first step is to right click where you want it to be and then click on New Note. Whoops. <laughs> So what we have here is a note in Excel. It's it's the old comments. And you can see when you move it around, it creates this little call out. And you can delete whatever text is in there. And then right click and go to Format Comment. And in this box here, go to Colors and Lines. And then under Fill Color, go to Fill Effects. This is kind of a process stick with me. So now go to the picture tab and select your picture. You can go online, go to OneDrive or just from a file on your computer. And here's my file and I'll just click insert and you should click lock picture aspect ratio if you don't want it to be distorted and then click OK, OK. And you can see that it puts the image into this little call out that now is invisible unless you hover over that cell. However, you can always show it if you want. You can right click on that cell and then go down to show slash hide note. And now it's always visible no matter what. If you were to hide this row, you can see that it does disappear. So it moves with that cell. You can um, also type stuff in here if you wanted to, and it just puts it on top of the image. There's no easy way to automate this, so it's not really my favorite. If you had a whole list of pictures to get into a table, you would have to do each one individually. The next method is probably what you think of when you think, I'm going to insert some pictures into a table in Excel. We're going to go to Insert and then Pictures. If you don't have the most current version of Microsoft 365, you may not have these two options. You may only have these three options, this device, stock images, and online pictures in that in this first drop down. So you would click insert picture from this device and find your picture. But you can actually insert multiple pictures here. So I'm just going to select them all and then click insert. Now it's inserting them all into like a clump. So we would want to resize them all at once. If you had somehow unselected these, you can just select one of them and then use the keyboard shortcut control A and it will select all the pictures on this worksheet. So you can go up here to the size group and resize them all in, a, in bulk. I would say, you know, choose either to change the height or the width. Let's start with making the height be one and see how that works. I think that looks about right for these boxes that I've created. And now comes the somewhat hard part of putting them all into the correct, um, into the correct cell. And here, see this one is too big. So I have to resize it because with this method, the, they're not fitted into the cells. They're just kind of on top of them. They'll be locked in place, but it takes a little bit of finesse, a little bit of extra fiddling to get them to be exactly in the cell. But now, now that they're all in here, we're going to click on one and again, hit control A and reformat them so that they stay in the cell that I've put them in. So we're going to right click and go to, wait a second format object and it opens up this panel and then we'll click on this size and properties and it's in the properties group <laughs> click move and size with cells the default is move but don't size with cells we want to move and size with cells 
okay? And now these are kind of locked in so that if we were to hide this row, you can see that the picture that's in there is hidden as well. So if you don't have the most recent, if you don't have the updated Microsoft 365, if, if you don't see when you click insert pictures, place in cell, this is probably the method that you will want to use. However, if you do have this option, I would recommend you use it. So go to insert and then pictures and then click place in cell and then get your picture from wherever you would get it from. And then it becomes kind of baked into this cell so that when you resize it, the picture resizes as well. You can also see that when you go to what is in here, it's just the word picture. So it's kind of a hybrid data type. This little button also appears that allows you to toggle place over cells or place in cells, which is pretty cool. If you wanted to save time and do this in bulk, you can, when you get to this part where you're in your um, file explorer, you can select multiple pictures. The problem is even if you try and, you know, select them in the correct order, it will reshuffle them. So I recommend if you're going to do that, then you can, I mean, you can just like start shuffling them around. That's not really that efficient. So if you're going to do that, I would go back to the original files and try and change the names so that they are in order. Okay, so now these are all in here. Um, I'm going to format this as an Excel table by going to insert table and just to show you how cool it is that you can actually have um, pictures inside of an Excel table. And when you filter this table, like let's say we only want some of these, it, it will, the pictures will stick with the correct row. The last way to get pictures into Excel is to use a function. It's called image. It's available on the current channel on Microsoft 365. So if you, it may not be available in your version if you have an older version of Excel. This uses a link. So here I, here I have links to pictures um, from the internet and it uses the HTTP protocol. So it has to start in HTTP. And you can see I'm using the, the whole link. I, I put the link into a different cell. You can just type the link in in quotes. Um, but anyway, and you can also add an alt text. You can add some sizing options. I'm just going to put it just as is. And you can see that it pulled all of them at once. So this is definitely the most time saving method is if you have a big table to get the links first, just spend a little time, copy paste all those links. Um, and then you can use one function to get all of these pictures into Excel. And you can see that these are, these behave like the place in cell option. If you wanted to get rid of the link and make this no longer be directly linked to the internet, like make the pictures be embedded, you can just copy and then paste values. And now they become just like the previous method where we, where we place them in cell from our device. And see, we can just like delete this and they're still there. Now here's a bonus tip. I want to show you how to create a lookup of these pictures. So the first thing is your table, your data has to be in an Excel table. Well, I guess it doesn't really have to be, but I really highly recommend it. So when you have an Excel table, you can give it a name and you always should. So go up to the table design tab and the table name, and I'm going to call this Avengers and give it a meaningful name, something that means something to your data. Now here is where I wanna have a drop down of all of the characters. So I'm gonna search the menus for data validation. And here under allow, I'm gonna choose list. And then in the source, because I'm, I wanna pull from that character, I, I will use the indirect function, open parentheses, and then open quotes and you have to know your table name so it's called avengers 
open the square brackets, this creates a structured reference that's going to pull from that first column, which was character. And then close square brackets, close quotes, close parentheses. I'm going fast because I've done this before. Um, but, you know, just slow down the video if you can't keep up. So then click OK. Now this is a drop down of all of the characters from the previous page. So now I'm going to create, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight this just so we can see it really clearly. <laughs> now in this big cell, I'm going to create a lookup. So I'm going to choose X lookup formula. Lookup the value is going to be whatever's here. And then the lookup array is going to be the Avengers character. So we're looking up the value that's in that gray cell in this Avengers character column. The return array is going to, here we, here we go, Avengers, it's going to be the image column. That's where all the pictures are. Now when we close this, it's returning nothing. But you can see that now I have, it's so quick, I have a drop down menu that will bring up the pictures from that table. I just think this is super cool. One of the coolest things I've seen in Excel recently. How do you use pictures in Excel? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about your experience.